Let's do our makeup and talk about Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. Two words in that verse that I've heard a million times that stuck out to me in bold font. They are the words trust and lean. Trust and lean not into your own understanding. Trusting and leaning, trusting and leaning. I was like, hmm, the Bible is on purpose, right? Nothing's an accident. There has to be a reason that they put the word trust with the Lord your God with all your heart and the word lean when it came to how we handle our own understanding. So I went into Strong's Concordance, which is like, if you ever wanna see like the Hebrew definition of something, you can go to Strong's Concordance, type in the verse that you want, and then it has these little translations. Hello, does that make sense? Well, oftentimes you can see word by word or little phrase by little phrase, like what the actual Hebrew translation of that was. I looked up the Hebrew word for trust. Can she pronounce it? No, cannot. But the definition talked about being confident, talked about being secure, being bold. And then I was looking up the word lean, okay? I went to our girl Miriam, Miriam Webster, and she said that leaning is basically when you're moving into a sloping position. And she also said it was a deviation from perpendicular. When I tell you that part, that part, a deviation from being upright is leaning. Leaning on your own understanding is a deviation. It is a deviation from being upright in Christ. A deviation from being upright in Christ is leaning on your own understanding. What? crazy the lord blew my mind with that one he blew my mind with that i said ah. no matter how many times you've read something there's always something new to be found in his word if there's one true thing and the true thing is that god can be trusted if you're leaning on your own understanding it's a deviation from what's from what's upright and whether the truth that god can be trusted makes you comfortable or not makes you anxious or not it doesn't change the truth it's just like if two plus two plus four it's just like if 2 plus 2 equals 4 makes you uncomfortable, it doesn't change the fact that 2 plus 2 is still going to equal 4. That 4 is still coming, okay? And as I was reflecting more, I'm like, okay, why is it so hard to trust God for real? Like, God is so consistent. He is so loving. He is more consistent than oxygen itself. That's, that's what I was thinking of. Don't, don't ask me why I went to, to oxygen, but I went to oxygen. Oxygen is so consistent. It's been here for forever, right? It's keeping us alive. We're not anxious about, oh my gosh, what if we run out of oxygen tomorrow? I'm just gonna practice holding my breath just in case I have to go extra. No, like we breathe and we move forward. The way I trust oxygen is the way I am pursuing trusting in Christ. He's more consistent than life itself. But anyway, I digress. We have bold trust in things that are created, but for some reason that doesn't translate to the creator. Deep thoughts, deep thoughts. I think about, I think about these things. It's really hard to trust someone that you don't know. So that begs the question, if you're having trouble tr fully trusting God, have you been in full pursuit of knowing who he is? And that pursuit is lifelong, by the way, okay? It's a lifelong thing. Well, he gave us a whole book of instruction, a whole book of God breathed, words the bible how much are you reading your bible and not only reading it but trying to pull out god's character from it i think we are blended we are blended we are blended react on more pat mcgrath foundation because amazing um this foundation is spectacular let me do the y'all know the drill we're putting foundation right on top of everything in Proverbs, it says, those who trust in their own wisdom are fools. And the Lord straight up put in his word, he's like, you're actually a fool. You're actually crazy, if you think on your own understanding. What, what do we look like? Only knowing our little corner of the world and then leaning on that. Compared to somebody who knows the beginning from the end, the Lord Jesus Christ can keep everybody's logistics in order. Like, it, uh, he keeps all of our prayer requests in order and works them out, everything for our good. What? My, my mind will explode. Give me three to five business years to, to respond to your requests because I'm overwhelmed. That would be me. And yet the Lord is just like, he doing what he do. I, I'd rather trust that man. It's less anxiety. That's also in Proverbs too. Okay, okay, I found it. It's Proverbs 28. It says, the wicked run away when no one is chasing them, but the godly are as bold as lions. The wicked run when there's no one chasing them. Sounds like anxiety to me. But godly are as bold as lions. So interesting how when we put our bold trust in God, we get boldness back. 
but there is this threshold that we have to cross when we go from leaning on our understanding to trusting in God. Like, that transition is difficult, but that transition I think can really only happen when you know who you're trusting, which is why we call this a relationship with God. Because you have to build trust, you have to get to know, you have to communicate. Just like the word of God is alive and active, we should be too in pursuing him and who he is. The setup behind this camera is actually hilarious. It's not professional. It's not professional at all. Leaning on your own understanding, I wonder if it causes anxiety because we know that our understanding is so finite. Maybe that's our soul telling us, hey, I know this feels good right now to lean on what you understand, but we know it's not gonna hold. It's like if your ship has a hole in it and you put duct tape on it, you feel like it's gonna hold, but you don't know for how long. There's like this sense of anxiousness on if it'll hold. And I wonder if that's what leaning on our own understanding does to our spirit. We are called children of God. Maybe one of the reasons why adulting so hard is because we're just meant to be his children. Imagine little Billy worried about gas prices. The child is, is up all night talking about what, what stocks should I invest in. You be, like, you be like Billy go to sleep. And I wonder sometimes if that's what we look like to the Lord when we are worried about things and leaning on our own understanding. We do the next right thing. That's it, that's it. Drag it back. If the comfort you seek is denying yourself, picking up your cross and trusting in God, that type of comfort will, will keep you forever. Denying yourself, picking up your cross, what, what a small ask compared to the joy on the other side of doing that and the freedom on the other side of doing that, the carefreeness on the other side of denying yourself, picking up your cross and trusting God. Huh? Hmm. I don't know how good it feels to lean. Nothing compared to trusting in God. That's the pursuit of happiness, to be honest. Not the pursuit of joy, amen. I think we're ready. I actually don't know what the plan is today. I don't know. Jesus loves you, I love you, and we out. Wow, Jesus, Jesus loves you. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Amen, amen.